Jamison Williams getting dragged on the internet for lighting fireworks. The media is not happy with this young man. Wide receiver for the Lions lighting off fireworks. Did he do anything wrong? Are athletes held to a too high of a standard? We're going to talk about it all with Pat McAfee and all the fellows on the Pat McAfee show. Jamison Williams was lighting fireworks on the 4th of July uh, evening at 1.15 a.m. Whoa. Who wasn't? And Jim Costa said, this son of a bitch, pretty much. <laughs> I get it. America, freedom. But I'd leave the explosives to the professionals, especially if you make your money with your hands. I kind of see both sides of this. I kind of see... Okay. I, all right. Let, let, let's, talk, let's hash this out, ladies and gentlemen. On one hand... Who the hell doesn't make money with their hands? You know, like, would Jim Costa be saying this to every welder in America? Would he be saying this to every artist in America, every painter, would he, every wide receiver, every running back, every quarterback, you know, every surgeon? Does he say this? Does Jim Costa text this out and say, can you believe the best pediatric surgeon at Johns Hopkins Medical Center was lighting fireworks? Doesn't he know he works with his hands? You know, so I think that part, is a is a good indicator of like how big of a deal sports are to where Jim Costa sees this and says, my God, I can't imagine that he would do this because of those sweet, sweet hands, because of those football catching hands. It shows how important football is in America, right? Where he could see, he could watch Banksy do this all day long, but he wouldn't say, Banksy, what the hell are you doing, son? How are you going to hold a, a brush if one of those uh, whistling whales takes off your thumb, you know? So on one hand, it's like, my man, he's a human being. He plays a, he plays a football. Like, I understand accidents can happen, but he, he could cut his hand, you know, uh, cut and stake. He, he could slice his fingers off uh, using a mandolin, trying to, trying to get some thinly sliced potatoes. You know, you can't live in a bubble just because you play wide receiver for the for the Detroit Lions. All right. So on one hand, it is like, look, let athletes live their lives. They are just human beings. On the other hand, I do understand where it's like, if you're an athlete, maybe don't ride a motorcycle. If you're an athlete, maybe don't do things that are highly dangerous because you do have such a it is such a razor's edge of if you do this and ruin your career. You've wasted, you know, a mercurial talent most of the time. You've wasted a, a crazy opportunity. You've wasted all that stuff. So I do understand where it's like, hey, be careful, but they're humans. Texter passed this along. Jameson Williams last night at 115 shooting off fireworks. It's from his IG story. I do don't I, I don't like the fact he's not using a torch. Sure. I don't like the fact that he's not using an extendo. He's using just a classic Bic, so his hand is certainly in there. And he's gonna get some some, you know, some backlash after initially lighting the wick or whatever. But I like that he's having fun enjoying his yeah. life. Yeah. Would that be well, like we like who was it? Was it Jalen Brown this year? Cut uh, for the Celtics. Didn't he like cut his hand really bad picking up a vase or something? Like he was like fl watering his plants and a, something broke and he picked up a vase and it cut his hand. Like, you know, freaky things happen. You can't protect yourselves from everything. You don't want to not live your life. So maybe that is the medium where it's like, hey, look, if you are going to light fireworks, maybe, maybe use like a long torch or maybe do something, you know, take the precautions. Instead of, instead of doing this. Being said, <clears throat> these things are no joke. No joke. No, no. These things are the real deal. I'm from Pennsylvania. Fireworks legitimately. Fireworks are kind of scary when you think about it. Like, I've seen people get hit by fireworks, get scarred, get burned. I've seen, I'm sure we've all seen the x-rays of, like, people who have held fireworks. They've exploded in their hand. And their, their fingers, I mean, it, it's basically a grenade. Their fingers are back bent, you know, ripped off, amputated. You know, so, I mean... It, Fireworks are one of those things where they are casual, like the, for some reason they're accepted, but they are highly dangerous. I've always said that with motorcycles. I don't understand how like seatbelt laws can exist, but motorcycles are totally okay. I understand, I'm not saying you got to wear a seatbelt on a motorcycle, but the whole idea of, hey, look, we need to have seatbelt laws because of accidents and how, you know, how dangerous it is, whatever. 
But then you have a motorcycle, which has absolutely no protection at all. And everyone's just like, yeah, cool. those are those are acceptable, I guess. Those are totally cool to drive on the interstate. Same with fireworks, where it's like, how are these things legal? You know, cigarettes, why are they legal? Everyone's just kind of accepted these highly dangerous things as okay. Fireworks are absolutely no joke. Pennsylvania. When I grew up, there was no fireworks allowed. Illegal. You had to drive to Ohio to get the illegal fireworks. I came out to Indiana. You walk into a store, and there is oh, a thousand of millions. these fucking Zambelli yeah. fireworks mm-hmm. that go up in your thing. And I'm like, uh, how much for all of this? And they're like, <laughs> we got to get to 2200 bucks. I was like, 3000 bucks, perfect. High school kids, yep. They start loading up. Growing up in Mississippi, we had these fireworks stands, that basically pop-ups on the side of the road. Same with Christmas trees, whatever. When it came to July 4th, New Year's Eve, randomly you would see these tents pop up, and they were selling fireworks. You could support a small country's army with what they were selling at these tents. Where the hell they got them, I will n- never know. But you roll up there, like Pat said, with a couple thousand dollars, you could leave, and you could probably take over a small country. These things are dangerous. You get the stuff on the top shelf, oh, you, you are, you, you're ready to roll. I have a Zambelli fireworks show in the yeah. back of my car. First year I'm out here in Indiana. Sweet. Just because I thought you, 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 I have to do this. Right. So I start lighting it off. And once you start lighting off, it's like, this is a real fucking deal here. Yeah. Poof, those yeah. things oh, are yeah. shooting through the ground. Ground's getting lit on yeah. fire. Yeah. People but then you're watching it explode. Well, not only people. Yeah. Professional athletes have obviously yeah, 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 kind of got in there. Yeah. You kind of start dancing with it. So I appreciate Costa's messaging. But with that being said, but mind your fucking fuck business. Up. Exactly. Right, okay, so- guys, let's, this is a family show, first of all. This is a family channel right here, okay? I, I get messages from people all the time saying that at family dinner, instead of talking, instead of having conversations with each other, they just get in front of the big, the big screen and they just watch my, my video. I, I get a lot of people saying that that's their, their family you know, tradition at dinner. You know, everyone sits around, listens to me talk for a little bit. So... I just want everyone at the, at the dinner table to know, like, this isn't me saying these these vulgarities, okay? We keep it clean here, okay? Very Will Smith style. Keep it clean for the, for the, for the families. So, you know, that's the difference between, well, I'm not wearing a black tank top. You know, if I cut the sleeves off, if I, if I put on the black tank, I may let a couple of choice words rip. Fourth of it's July, Jim. Mm-hmm. Jake, Jim, mind your own business, pal. Jesus Doesn't Christ. need to be news. To and James it was from... the left hand also. You can tell it was the left hand. <laughs> bad light. Yeah, on the... yeah. Not that that matters, but. Yeah, and he's had some bad news hand. as of late. So let the guy enjoy some fireworks. Yeah, the guy's not scared to gamble on it. Okay. There you go. Uh-huh. You're right. Not scared to roll the dice a little bit. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Dance with the devil a little bit. He, yeah. He's not scared of it. People were not happy with Jim's tweet there. Good. I, I, see that. I mean, it's it's easy to say, hey, Jim, shut the fuck up. You know? Okay. It, 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 that's why I kind of started this with, look, I see both sides. Because it is super easy to sit there and say, Jim, like, what, like quit, quit being a little baby. You know what I mean? Like, this is America. This is the 4th of July. You know, let the guy live his life. Like, especially now, and not to get into more of a societal conversation, but I think now people have had so much, they're so tired of uh, the whole like, you know, bubble bubble lifestyle. Be safe. Be this. Be that. Nowadays, look, people just want to crack a couple brewskis. They just want to, you know, live life. They want to be cowboys. They want to gamble. They want to go out. They want to party with their boys. They want to, you know, do a backflip off the diving board. They don't want to be in the shallow end. Okay, I think everyone has felt like they've been in the shallow end for too long. So people are ready to get back out there and do a couple backflips, do a couple gainers, you know, t- take take some chances. They, they, you see more people now, you know, lifting heavy weight. You, you, you see people, they're getting back to that, like, 80s, 90s, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone kind of attitude. So I can certainly see where there would be a pushback on this. There would be a pushback on this kind of mindset. Whereas... 10 years ago, this probably would be accepted. 10 years ago, it'd probably be like, what the hell are you doing? You know, get out of there. Now, I think people want to see more of the, you know, the quarterback with the cigarette in his mouth, you know, the versus like the cookie cutter John Cena kind of character. So, it's very not surprised that there is a, and I think that's why people like Pat McAfee, 
Joe Rogan, people like that are are as big as they are because people want that. People are, are ready for that, like willingness to do whatever that uh, rebel, you know, without a cause kind of attitude, that cowboy attitude. They, they're ready for that versus the Bob Costas uh, of the world. You know what I mean? But like also Jim has a point. For sure. Like, yes. hey, need long, extendo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but. Need extendo, because if that thing does burn quick, which is possible. Or, it can, or it can just, like, mess up. Fireworks can certainly mess up. Or it's like, you light it, all of a sudden it explodes with, because it's, it's a screwed up package. I mean, most of these fireworks are being bought out of some 11-year-old's Buick. You know, it, it, it's, God knows it's been dented, it's been crushed, it's been, how old it is. Like, you know, it's not like you're buying a gallon of milk. You know, there's, there's all kind of things that can go wrong with this thing goes at least you have like a foot at that point to kind of get away as opposed to being right on top of it also can't have the one that can blow out need the torch if <laughs> yeah. you're gonna have a little yeah. one need a fucking torch too that, that's something else too with with these kind of things i'm more on the on the side of look you're you've signed a huge contract we're in 2023 there are so many different ways to do things. Like there are these kind of things. Like, if you want to buy a nine foot lighter, I guarantee you it's an Amazon purchase away. 30 years ago, you had one option, right? There, there wasn't all these new things. So there are ways to be safe doing whatever virtually. So that's where I come down on this is, should fireworks be illegal for these athletes? No, but they should have the meat. If they're going to do this, like July 4th doesn't sneak up on you. It, everyone knows it's coming up. If you're buying all these fireworks, go buy whatever it takes to be as safe as possible. If that's, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i just going to spitball here, but I guarantee you like mesh gloves or like, the, you know, those mesh chain gloves that people wear to feed sharks and stuff. I guarantee you those probably would be pretty good to wear if you're doing something like this. I bet they could absorb a lot of the blast of a, a whistling whale. So maybe you buy some, you know, firefighter gloves. You buy something that that is made for this, like welders, welding gloves. You buy some of that, you know. Like these are the kind of things that if you are, if you have the means to do it, go do it. If if I if I'm going camping in the woods, you know, I, I don't I don't have the op the opportunity to buy the best tent, the best boots, all the best stuff. To where if a snake tries to bite me, I'm not wearing some four thousand dollar knee high snake bite, you know, uh, boots. But these athletes should have the means to do that. So maybe that's that's a little clause where live your life. But my God, you know, make make the purchase, get get the get the security, get, make make a take the variables out of it. And now we're talking about it. You can actually string those together, James. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, know, you can kind of you can kind of and then just boom, boom, couple of them. That's the then you're just hands off for the next four or five minutes. That's right. Neighbors gonna be pissed. Dogs are gonna be barking. Mm -hmm. They are certainly not gonna be happy. But it's Fourth of July. You get one night to do this, James. Yeah, yeah, you're just chilling. Well, New Year's Jim Costa. Next time, now he knows if you put that on Threads, people are much more accepting over there. <laughs> the Threads community, <laughs> there would probably be a lot more support. More so, like, hey guys. Calm down. Let's listen to Jim for a second. He's got a lot of good points. I don't like what out. you're doing right now. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, but this can't become a thing. That's all. It feels like this is going to be your thing now. No, no. no. Oh, I'm, threads people will love yeah. it. Genu no, genuinely, they <laughs> are a much started. more yeah. accepting yeah. group. He is. That's what he started. I kind of, yeah. Let me say this about threads, which is the Instagram version of Twitter. I'm not getting threads. Bottom line. I can't do another social media. I'm 34 years old. I can't learn another social media. I don't want to learn another social media. I don't want to download another app. I'm closer to deleting apps than doing new apps. Seeing everybody start their threads yesterday was cringy AF. Follow me on threads. I'm out. I'm out of it. I'm close. I'm close to deleting Instagram, much less getting a threads. I don't want two Twitters. I'll be on Twitter. I'll keep all my current stuff, but Unless Twitter completely implodes and Threads is the only option, I ain't getting a Threads. Yes. We can already hear it kind of trickling. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you I what, on like Threads, it. that would it's be... Only been Twitter's not going to die. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't say that on Twitter. You can say that. Yeah, take that. Let me know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think athletes should do things like this where they shouldn't be able to use fireworks or they should you know, keep themselves away from the pseudo-dangerous things? But where do you draw the line? You know, I mean, is shooting off a firework 
is it the is that the line or do you, is it also hey don't use knives hey don't touch glass hey don't whatever like don't don't go surfing don't go skateboarding don't ride motors like at what point do you stop and let these people live their lives let me know what you think where do you come down on this thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video